If you're not told him and it's gone, why would you not bring the letter into the next direction? I just hear things like this. I'm thinking, what genuinely goes on in your brain? What's any sense of consideration do you have for me? Because with the letter you gave me, I didn't do anything with it. I but read what it do as you mean cool sense of consideration? If right. you wrote me a letter, yeah. I wanted to take it to the diary room, or at least I'll ask you, like, ah, I'm going to talk about this in the diary room or whatever. Give me a heads up to know that if it's cool or not, because it's a personal letter. So I don't know why I wrote something personal to you. You'd be like, oh, yeah, let me go and tell the whole world. But well, I'm sorry about that. Sorry is your favorite word. Why well, and Sean, don't call me again. Every two, two days, there must be reason to say sorry. Guys, we are all aware of the letter Sean wrote to Wani and how Wani took the letter to Big Brother and Big Brother sees the letter and all of that. Sean is not happy that Wani took the letter to show the whole world. Sean said, why would you take something personal that I wrote to you to go and show the whole world? <laughs> Sean said that was not necessary at all. That it was a personal thing and it should be treated as something personal. One, you also wrote Sean a letter and Sean handled it as a personal thing. Yeah. So, when he wrote Sean a letter also, are you serious? <laughs> so, guys, Sean was saying that one, you also wrote him a letter and he treated it as a personal thing. That he doesn't see the reason why one would take the letter he wrote to her to Big Brother's diary room. That it wasn't making any sense. And the one on the other hand was trying to like explain herself, saying that, yes, if I could complain about it in the diary room, okay, I should be able to like show off the good thing you you've done also in the diary room. And on the other hand, started apologizing as usual. Started saying, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything bad. I was just excited. I wanted to show off the good thing you did. And that was why I took it to the diary room. I am sorry. I am sorry. And she don't even have to tell her that. It's as if sorry is your favorite word. <laughs> One thing that constantly blow my mind is how Sean constantly make Wani see that she's actually wrong. Even if she has not done anything bad. So guys, I'd like to hear your opinion. Is there anything wrong with Wani? Telling Big Brother about the letter Sean wrote to her. I really like to hear your opinion. Because the fact Wani was even apologizing is what... <laughs> God, oh. She even said all oh, this, this snake is not for eating. All of them were strategic. I never said strategy, Cassia. Did I say strategy? Why are you, why are you like... No, I'm if, if like you were there, you were there. there. I knew that she said it. So why didn't you call her out? It's not in my place. My place is to give business. somebody. Why you should mind your this business? I didn't you mind your business. Why did you, why did you, you should mind your business? Why you if friend, you call out your friend? Why were you call her? Yes, you were not my friend. I know your friend. You were not in my place to make conversation. You had your time and the day you did. You shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of your fucking coward. Onyeka finally went, you know, gone blazing yesterday. We all know that she said that whenever, if she finally knows the person that gossiped about her and tried to defame her name, that she's going to go all out for the person. Yesterday, after the wager task, you know, Onyeka was just raising her voice, saying that, eh, hey, if you are the one that said this thing about me, you are a coward. Come out and tell me why you said it. Own up to what you said. Like this one. That, she was just literally using the word that you're a coward. You're a coward for saying something, for gossiping about me. And you cannot you cannot own up to your gossip with your full chest and all of that. Cassia came and now told Onyeka, do you know what? I'm actually the one that made that statement. And Onyeka was not asking her, why would you make that kind of statement about me? Why would you say I'm trying to use... Wani and Handy because they are they have large family. Why would you say that kind of thing? I said I was not trying to explain herself, saying that oh the reason why she said that is because she did not think that Onyeka is being a good friend to Wani. They've really never been friends. For her to open up and say things about Wani, it means that her friendship is questionable. Cassie also mentioned another reason why she said that thing is because Onyeka told her that um, being around everybody and being everybody's business is a strategy and all of that. Onyeka denied the fact that Cassia said that she was, you know, being everywhere 
as form of strategy. She says she never said it is a strategy. Yeah, she wants to be in everybody's business to make the house entertaining. But she said she'd never use the word strategy. Cassia said, you are lying, you are lying. She went ahead to call Victoria because she thinks that Victoria was there. The day Onyeka made the statement. And Victoria came and said no. Victoria came and said no, she's not aware. She doesn't know about the whole strategy thing. And in fact, she was not there the day they both had that conversation. So Cassia kept explaining herself, you know, Onyeka and Cassia kept going back and forth. I finally admitted that Onyeka did not say she wants to use Wani and Handy. It was just what she felt based off of the whole incident that happened. <laughs> So guys, Cassia and Onyeka kept having their back and forth. Onyeka was telling, was telling Cassia, you really need to mind your business. Would you say this is... Like, she was just literally trying to explain what she said to Cassia about Wani. And that was why <laughs> Victoria now said, really, you are talking about minding your business. Whereas you yourself, you are not minding your business. And if you consider Wani as a friend, you wouldn't have gossiped about them. Onyeka now said, I'm not speaking to you, parrot to a uh, caller, I'm not speaking to you. So you knew it was Cassia that said it, but you were so eager to call me out, but you did not call Cassia out. The next thing I heard is Victoria saying, shut the F O. I'm like, from where to where? <laughs> from where to where? I thought this issue was between Onyeka and Cassia. How did Victoria now put mouth again? Cassia called Victoria to ask her, were you not there when Onyeka was saying this whole thing was a strategy? She said she was not there. She is not aware of it. I was surprised to see Victoria now attacking Onyeka, saying that hey, if you called uh, Wani, your friend, you shouldn't have discussed about them to Cassia. You shouldn't have gossiped about them. This one, I'm like, hold up. What is going on? Now, so Victoria and Cassia team up against Toyeka. Wait till I know here yesterday. Like, the whole fight literally shifted from Cassia saying that Onyeka is using Wani and Handy because they have large fan base to Onyeka is fighting Victoria because of man. Cassia was saying that, eh, because of man. That's why you are fighting her. And the fact that Cassia was even laughing. Made the whole thing was Victoria on the other hand was even calling Onyeka, you know. I'm like, eh, has he got into that? Um Cassia was saying, eh, you gossip a lot. You are the chief gossiper in the house. You are a gossip, you are this, you are that like there was nothing that was not said yesterday. And the most exciting part is how the guys, I mean Kelly Ray, Ozzy and OC, we are just in the kitchen minding their business. And refusing to <laughs> insert yourself in the whole situation. I'm really happy this fight happened though. Everybody know where they stand now. Cassia admitted that Onyeka actually did not say that she wants to use Wani. It was just what she felt. Considering the whole thing that was said, you know, the whole strategy thing, I wanting to be everywhere and all of that. The way Victoria, you know, came in and changed it for Onyeka. It was obvious, like you could tell that since on Monday that Victoria Onyeka nominated her, she was not happy. And she finally had the opportunity to air her mind. They both know where they stand now, and I'm really happy for that. Even later, Victoria was having conversation with OZ, and Victoria was still trying to like make it about him, trying to say that Onyeka was fighting her because of OZ. I'm like, I don't understand. Because of man now, they are eating on me. Cassie, on the other hand, was still telling her husband that Onyeka was fighting Victoria because of Ozzy. Because of man. Why Onyeka was actually pissed at Victoria is because Victoria called her out immediately when the parrot revealed that thing on Monday, but did not call out Cassia. That was the reason why Onyeka was actually upset. So guys, what do you think about this whole thing? My happiness is that Kelly Ray did not even interfere at all. So guys, what do you think about the whole glass clothes that went down yesterday? The way Victoria changed it for 
Onyeka. Hey, you see, they shocked me. I don't feel like. 